One of the best ways to actually treat and take care of yourself with dysautonomia is actually using something called the transcutaneous vagal nerve stimulator. Now, this is a unit that we use in our practice. We have our own proprietary kinetic PT, kinetic vagal nerve stimulator. So when I take this apart, this is gonna be very important for you to be able to do at home. Here's your unit, here's your device. Now when we open up the device, we'll see a set, we'll see arrows up and down, we'll see a mode as well. How we turn on the device is up top. And that's how we turn it on. Now once we turn it on, this will be preset for you at our clinics. We wanna have the width, say between 250 and 300. So I'm just gonna press set, and as I move that down, the number starts dropping. So we'll set it at 250. Good, and then we'll hit set again. Now the rate, you wanna have between three and five hertz. So it's set at three now, but just to show you, I'm gonna change it, I'm gonna go up to five. The time is already set for five minutes. So what I want you to do is we're gonna build upon this, but we're initially gonna start with five minutes and we're gonna slowly build over a month up to 25 minutes, adding five minutes a week. So one of the best ways to do this is really simple, is if I did five minutes of my treatment, I turn it off and then I turn it back on and then there's my other five minutes. So you don't have to worry about changing any parameters in here. However, if you wanna change the parameter, you can go to set again, and now I'm at five minutes, and I can hit the arrows going up, and I could go up to 10 on week two, and then 15 on week three, and then 20 on week four. And slowly we build up to 25. You could overdo this if you do it too soon, too much. So you only wanna start with five minutes. So that's how that's set up. Now, when we look at the next parameter, if you go to mode, you see that popped up modulation. And then we have SD1, SD2, and burst, and normal. We wanna always have this on normal. Okay. So now it's all set and ready to rock and roll. Now when I take a look at the leads, here's a clip. You see the round section there of the clip? That's what goes on your ear on the inside of your ear. Then we only wanna do this on the left ear, not on the right ear, only in the left ear. From here, this round piece goes here in the concha, or it's gonna go here. Now if you notice, the flat part's on the outside, the round part's on the inside, because the round part is where the stim is, electrical stimulation is gonna be. So you always want this to be on the inside part of the ear, that part. So we can either go here at the tragus, or we can go here at the conca or concha. Okay, so now that that's in, we want to get the other electrode. So we need the grounding lead. So from here, we open up our east end pads. and our kinetic eastern pads are right here. And we wanna put the red lead on this. Then we peel this off. The transcutaneous vagal nerve stimulator pad goes right here with the kinetic lead there. So I have it on my ear. I have the lead here only on the left side. We wanna make sure the device is off. It was on because I was doing a demonstration before. And then we wanna plug this right into there on the left side. And the camera, it'll be on the right side, but it'll be on the left side when it's facing you. And then you open this up and you're gonna slowly turn it on. So it clicks and it beeps and we slowly turn it up. And already I'm starting to hear a, a tap, 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 then you're done. You don't wanna go up too high because it's not supposed to be uncomfortable. Remember, what we're doing is activating the vagus nerve so it calms the nervous system. We've had great results with this with anybody that had any sleep disorders, chronic pain, because the vagus nerve is anti-inflammatory.
We've had people with sleep disorders, like I said, digestive issues, chronic diarrhea, spinal stenosis, irregular heartbeats. The vagal nerve stimulator is extremely important to regulate the nervous system's response to stress. So if you feel like you're stressed and consistently stressed, this is one of the best tools to do. Some insurances pick this up. So what we could do is actually assess to see if your insurance carer would pick up the vagal nerve stimulator. Thank you very much. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial.